Hi everyone and welcome back to another thrift with me. I am at a Savers. This is not the Savers that I typically go to but it is one that is close to me. I'm checking out these really cute shoes. They are giving me ballet core vibes but they are $14.99 and I decide to leave them behind. You can see the shelves are pretty empty here. I'm here late on a Sunday actually which is not typical for me. These Jack Rogers I thought were cute. They were different ballet flat style. The price was white, right but the condition was really not great so I left those behind um, I thought these were really fun dark academia just a cool style the price was right that heel was really funky um, I think it will take a special buyer but I loved these shoes and I wanted to try out this brand so at my savers and the savers that I'm at right now they do not stock the shelf with new items on Sunday or Monday um, and so it's always hit or miss when I come on these days where new items aren't being put out on the shelves and when um, things have been pretty picked over from the weekend I did find this cute Bowden dress just a nice very lightweight sundress they had a price at just $5.49 so I decided to grab that I've been having a good run with Bowden and with dresses lately this is a hand row nightgown and it's ironic that i found this because i was just talking about this in one of my last videos i had a piece that sold for 60 dollars. it was new with tag this was just two dollars and fifty cents so i decided to take it home with me i will tell you more about that during the haul portion i'm in the vest section and they tend to price things pretty reasonably over here this is a beautiful kimono from akemi and kin which is an uh, anthropology brand I think this is so beautiful and it's just $6.99 so I decided to grab that. I should also mention that I do have a 20% off coupon today so all of these items will be 20% off of the price you see. There were three Lafayette 148 suits all in a row and at the time of my visit I knew I was meeting with the real real rep at my home and Lafayette 148 is a brand that I like to send uh, but this was just too much of an upfront cost I thought let me know what you think if you would have paid I think they were $21 plus the 20% off um, if you would have picked those up to send to the real real I was not inspired by those pieces so I left them behind this is a Bowdoin crossbody canvas messenger bag. It's really in good shape besides the dust and lint that you see. It has leather trim. It's a nice classic navy and brown combo. And again, just $5.99 less 20%. So I did decide to take that home. Just getting a little glance of my cart here. This sweatshirt I'm gonna talk about in a bit, but this striped, uh, this is like a rash guard top from J. Crew. I thought this was cute, but I decided to put it in my cart just to show you what they charge for J. Crew at this store. Um, now this sweatshirt, Faherty, um, is new to me, and I just loved the style of this sweatshirt. The price was great, $5.79. I've never heard of this brand, so I decided to take it home just based on style, but when I get home and look at comps, I am really pleasantly surprised. We'll talk more about that soon. This is a fossil bag that I think is pretty cool, but the corners are really damaged. I would have picked that up probably for $7.99 if it were in great condition, but I decided to leave it behind because of the poor condition. I loved this Zara top, but not for $12.00. Prices are just all over the place at Savers. We've discussed this before. This is just skies are blue, but I loved this top. This is one of those tops that's probably not gonna be a huge return. I think I have it priced at $32. It'll probably sell for about 25. I just really loved it and wanted to have it in my closet. This swim club, um, I was really excited about this piece. This is Mother Brand. The comps on these, this sweatshirt is great. This was originally sold at Revolve. Um, I'm gonna show you some comps right here. So I'm very excited to get that listed and hopefully get that $50 price point back. This is a Lulu's skirt. Again, just want to show you the price, $13.49. That was not coming home with me. This ET skirt, wrap skirt dress was interesting, but I left it behind. Um, I've been looking more into skirts and dresses. It's just really the time of year that I find they sell well. Um, and I see a Madewell skirt that's coming up in a buffalo plaid that I'm so tempted to get. I think it's so adorable. 
However, it's not the season. This is an old Madewell label. It was really priced right for just $4 and change. I probably would have grabbed this uh, if, it, if it were at the bins or if we were closer to holiday season, but I did decide to leave that behind despite putting it in my cart and really thinking it over. This is an Urban Outfitters dress and it's new with tag and it's actually a really cute dress, but they had it priced at $12.99 and I did not run the comps. Maybe I should have, uh, but I decided to leave that behind at that price. This is a Worth dress and let me know if you have luck with this brand. Um, I, it's a very business feeling style and so I left it behind, but I have heard mixed reviews on that brand. This was a theory dress that I really thought was just adorable, um, but I don't love to pick up white. In theory, can sit for a while, so I decided to leave it behind, but the structure of that dress I thought was just really pretty. This is a really cute lucky Y2K vibe bag um, and in the end right at the register I decided to leave it behind because I felt like the staining on the bottom was a little more pronounced than it's even showing up here on film but I really thought this bag was cute and I am a little partial to that bohemian style and yeah I feel like maybe I should have grabbed this I think it may have done well on Depop. I loved these sneakers mostly because I loved the chunky heel on them. I grabbed these and I actually took them home and cleaned up around the edges and they came out so nice. This is a Beyond Yoga Maternity tank top um, priced at $14.99 because it is new with tag and despite the retail on that tag, the MSRP, the comps just weren't great so I left that behind. Um, this is it for the thrift with me portion. I will meet you back in my office with a really fun haul. All right, I am back here in my office and I just wanted to share with you the items that I picked up that day. I ended up having a pretty decent trip in my opinion. Savers can be super busy and because it was a Sunday afternoon and because many of the patrons there know that they're not going to be stocking the shelves, it really wasn't that busy. But it was kind of a pleasant experience for me. I was able to film a fair amount and I was able to really just take my time and go through things. Prior to going to Savers, I had driven oh gosh 20 miles in the other direction to one of my favorite thrift stores uh, that online said they were open they have historically been closed on Sundays they're under new ownership so I thought maybe they're open on Sunday and I was all geared up it was just one of those days I needed to get out of the house and I drove all the way there and they were closed and I was so disappointed so I thought to myself well instead of wasting this day let me find somewhere to go and that's how I ended up at this savers. Um, so I ended up spending $55.38 and I got 12 items. I don't know if that's going to show up here for you. So let's figure really quick what that cost of goods is. I'm sorry I can't do that in my head. It's got to be less than $5. $55.38 divided by 12. Just $4.62 per item, which is really good for savers. So uh, let's start with some of the accessories and shoes and stuff, and then we'll work on the clothes. These were the most expensive thing that I bought coming in at $10.49 before my 20% off. I've just been obsessing over chunky heel sneakers, and I saw these Nikes, and I just thought they were so cool looking. And they're also mesh on the side. And yeah, while they were expensive, I thought they were a cool pickup. And I did already clean the side of the sneakers. I used the liquid form of Barkeeper's Friend. Uh, that's a product that my mom told me about that I use on a lot of my pots and pans. And I thought maybe this will work here. So I just wanted to show you the difference because I only cleaned one shoe. So this is the shoe that I did not clean and still not in bad shape but this is the one that i did clean and it made such a difference here and you can see here it's just such a bright white which i think is pretty important i didn't clean the entire bottom but i cleaned just to there where you could see i mean i did actually i guess i did go over it it made a pretty big difference i think these are great and i'm hoping to get about sixty dollars 
for these. They are size eight and they are so cool. Um, some of these are listed super high, like around 100, and some are listed like at 40. So I'm thinking I'll be somewhere in the middle and I kind of wish they fit me, but they're just a little tight. Anyway, super cute. These are those funky shoes that I showed you. Look at the heel on these. I love how this bows out a little bit. It does have a leather sole. It's European sizing. These are a size 37 and a half. They're made in Italy. They're a platform shoe. Lotre Chose. I'm going to show you that. Let me know if you have any experience with this brand. I do have to like clean up the heel just a little bit, but I think these are really fun, really fun. I don't think they'll be a super fast seller, but I do plan on listing these on Depop as well. That might be a good platform for them. Um, but what was the price on these? I already photographed these, so I took the price off, but those were less than $6. Okay, this I didn't show on camera, but I think it's so adorable. Lulu Marie, unfortunately, is too chubby for it. I was originally thinking Lulu for this and uh, that she could maybe use it in Angelina's car because Angie's home for the summer and she takes Lulu on a lot of walks. It is Kurgo. Let's just start with the brand. The brand is Kurgo and it was just $5.99. And oftentimes when I see dog carriers, they're just like loaded with fur and they just, you know, they're kind of nasty. This, on the other hand, was like brand new. And what I loved most about it is this fun colored like corduroy liner that snaps out. So you can take this out and wash it. So I looked online and these retail for about 64 to $68. And I think they do sell them on Amazon. It's really cute. So I'll probably list it for about $45. Um, I hope that sells on Poshmark because it's a little bit heavy and bulky and I would love to take advantage of like Poshmark shipping with that. This is the Bowden bag that I was talking about. Isn't this so cute? There are like some little faint marks, like almost just like very light wear on the canvas. But this bag is so classic. It's all leather trim. It's a magnetic snap closure. And yeah, it's really cute. And the Bowden tag just says Bowden real leather. So I thought this was a really cute bag for summer. I think someone will really enjoy that. It really is in good condition. Oh, oh and I picked up this bra, this sports bra. Whoops. This, have I had this lint here the whole time? That's gonna drive me crazy. This is a maternity nursing bra. This little strap un hinges and comes down so you can nurse. Um, it's a size large and it has a lace racer back. I've never heard of this brand, so I wanted to try it out. It's called Kindred Bravely. Um, and this was a size large. They had three of these brand bras. This one I thought was in the best condition and I liked the style of it the most. And I believe this retails for 49 or even over $50. I have it listed for $35. It already has a like. It was $4.79 plus the 20% off. And honestly, if they were like $3.99 with the 20% off, I would have bought all three. There was a gray one similar to this, didn't have the lace, had a little bit more wear, and then there was a real basic one. Um, but I really wanted to try it out. I like to have um, maternity options in my closet. And I always like to try out new brands for undergarments because they're so easy to store. They're typically inexpensive. They're easy to ship, they're lightweight. So I'm, I always try to think of that when I'm out shopping. Uh, you know, if I could get this and flip this for $30 versus like a big bulky sweater, um, I would choose that, you know, just easier all around. All right, I'm gonna save my two best things for the end. This is the hand wrote nightgown that I got. I was so excited when I found this, but then when we went to list it, I did notice that there were some flaws. I noted the flaws in my listing. It's a very, very light green. <sighs> Lulu, don't bark at the mail lady. Do not bark. So here's the issue. Oh gosh, I just saw another run. You know what? I don't even know if I'm gonna end up listing this. There's a run back here. I think because the cotton is so soft, I think it's a little bit fragile. Um, and here you can see right at the seam that there is a little bit of a tear right at the seam on both sides. So this was a little bit of a fail. I don't know if Ange would want this. If you're interested in this, let me know. I only priced it at $25, but I didn't see, 
I didn't see that tear in the back. So I'm going to have to note that and maybe bring it down to 20 or $18, but I only paid $2 for it. And those, like I said, the nightgown that I sold, it was new with tag granted, but it sold for $60. And I think the average selling price on a nightgown like that from Hanro is probably around 30, 35 selling price. So I decided to mark that a little bit lower, but there was a little bit of a disappointment. I did not see that in the store. I was just so excited when I found Hanro for 250 and I had just featured it in a what sold video. So anyways, <coughs> Lulu, stop it. <coughs> hey, stop, <laughs> say bye. The male lady's leaving. All gone. All gone. Next up were these Madewell jeggings. I almost didn't grab these, but they're just they're just easy to list. And when I saw that the retail on these was still upwards close to $100, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give these a try. These were $98 retail. I have them listed for $32 or $28. I even think I have them lower at $28. These are called the Anywhere Jean, and these are in a size 24, but they're just like a pull-on jegging from Madewell. I do have a lot of Madewell in my closet, so I think Madewell shoppers, if they are familiar with my closet or my style, they know that I carry a decent amount of Madewell. So I was like, these were $3.99 plus the 20% off. So for $3.20, if I sell them for even $20, it's a decent return. Again, easy to store. Hopefully that'll be a quick flip. I just sent out an offer on them this morning. I have them priced at $28. Somebody liked them, so I sent out an offer for $22 with discounted shipping. Um, yeah, so I think that would be a decent return. I love this little Bowdoin dress. I don't think I'm gonna get a ton for this. Maybe $25 to $30. I just thought it was really cute, and it came in at under $5. So perfect for summer. Definitely in season. I loved the little detail here on the trim. I loved the V-neck. It is a size eight regular, just lightweight, adorable for summer. We'll see how that does. This was one of my favorite pieces and this is a very Lori piece. Maybe I'll wear this for haul and see if, um, if, I, if it needs to stay here. It's beaded, it's beautiful, it's this hunter green. I think it will be gorgeous in the fall, even more so than now, but the detail is stunning. And it's one size, but I think it definitely runs very big. So if you're a smaller frame, this will be extremely slouchy on you. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Uh, and the comps were really good on this. This was absolutely beautiful. This is the skies are blue top. Isn't this just so cute? I love the laser cut cotton embroidered detail. It's just so pretty. It's such a happy shirt for summer. It is lined and it was a large, so that's always a good thing when I can find larger sizes for my closet. I think it's such a cute top for summer and I can really picture somebody putting this in a bundle as well, maybe with some cute jeans, be such an adorable outfit for spring and summer. Okay, next up is this swim club sweatshirt. This was such a Great pickup. Uh, I was so excited when I saw that it said Mother. So Mother, I think, is best known for their jeans. This even has a little bit of pilling, but there weren't many available for sale right now. And I was just really excited when I saw that this was Mother. And I'm hoping to get between $45 and $55 for this crew neck sweatshirt. My two best pickups today, in my opinion, well, that Akemi and Ken could really go for a good amount. Um, but these two items, these two sweatshirts, I think were a great pickup. So this Faherty, Faherty, Faherty. So the brand on this is Faherty, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y. I'll show you the label because I would say that this is a bolo brand. Look at the detail on these shoulders. I loved that it was kind of like earth tone rainbow. It was just like kind of a California vibe to me. It had the pocket in the front. It's in like new condition. And again, this was $5.99 or $5.79. So with my discount under $5, this 
hoodie retails for $168. And I was like, whoa, I didn't even look at the comps until I got home because I thought it was such a cute sweatshirt. I knew I was grabbing it either way. But when I saw the comps, I was like, oh my goodness. So the sold comps are between $45 and $65, a lot in that $50 range, similar to this sweatshirt. So I'm thinking these two sweatshirts that cost under $10 are going to be over $100 in sales combined, which makes me very happy. This was probably my favorite pick of the day just because it was a new brand. It's always nice when you pick up something that you're not sure about and you kind of trust your gut and then you run comps and you realize that it's a really good flip or potentially a really good flip. Let me know if you've heard of this brand, if you've ever sold it, if you've had luck with this brand. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty decent trip to Savers for a Sunday afternoon in a picked over store where they hadn't been stocking the shelves all day. This is the beauty of reselling and the thrill of the hunt. You never know what you're going to find. So between the two sweatshirts, the Nikes and the beautiful kimono, I think those four items alone will be over $200 in sales. And then I think the rest of the items will be more in that like 25 to $40 range um, for sales. So hopefully they're quick flips. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how thrifting has been for you this spring. And I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks everybody, bye.